What's up guys, Coach Madden, official trainer, YouGoProBaseball.com, and I'm here again with John Sintez, pro pitcher, and he's got a great trick for you. It's called the trap release. If your arm's sore, and you want to get back to throwing and dominating hitters, check this out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a trap release. Uh, John, how are you feeling after we threw? I, I feel pretty tight, actually. You know, I haven't thrown in a while, so my arm's feeling yeah, pretty so tight. feeling a little yeah. lit up, okay. Yeah. All right, so he was talking about a little bit of shoulder issues right here. So this is called a trap release, something I learned from one of the awesome PTs back in uh, Niceville, Florida. Shout out to Dave Davis, appreciate it. So we're gonna go right in here into the shoulder. If you wanna come in and see here, if you wanna go, we're gonna try the most sensitive spot. Tell me where the most sensitive yeah, spot pretty, is. Yeah. That's it right yeah. there? Mm -hmm. All right, so I need you to keep the posture up right. right here. Now this is gonna hurt, so I need you to make sure that you're communicating with me on how you feel from here. So we're gonna push straight down on it. The angle we're pushing on is not a 90 degree, it's a little bit more up front here. So I'm gonna hit the spot. All right, you feel mm -hmm. it? Oh yeah. All right, so I need you to shrug both your shoulders all the way up to here as high as you can. Now, initially you can see right here, you can't get your shoulder up, so even higher. There it is, there's, we're trying to get a max range of motion. Okay, five seconds, all right, now relax. Now pinch behind, pinch your straps behind you as hard as you can. Okay, relax. Now we're gonna let it rest for five seconds. You feel it release oh, yeah. a little bit yep. right there. Okay, hold that. Okay, now reach out in front of you as far as you can. Oh as yeah. As far as you can. Felt that one in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> and relax. So we're gonna do this series twice right here. Now how's it feel right now? Does it feel? Well, I felt on after that second one it kind of like released yeah, a little exactly. bit. Yeah, exactly. You felt it right there. Yeah. So that's a. So what that happens is right connecting right in there. Some nerves that connect right into the neck right there that run through the shoulder, down through the shoulder, into the elbow, and then into the wrist and the hand. So this is the start of the tension and your your excuse me, your nerves work like fishing line. So they don't have a lot of pliability to them, okay? So if there's any tension that is pulling, like swelling or a muscle's tight, that's keeping it from being its actual distance, then you're gonna feel pain. So a lot of guys feel pain in the elbow, and as soon as they feel pain in the elbow, what's the first thing they think? Tommy John, right? Right. Every time, right. every time. So you have to understand is the way your brain works in your body is you cannot actually feel your ligament or your tendons. If there's three nerves that run through the elbow, and that's actually the swelling, the inflammation that touches those, that's actually what you're feeling that registers the pain to the brain. But the way the kinetic chain works in the arm is the trap right here connects to the shoulder. So if this is tight, your shoulder pulls up a little bit, which reduce, reduces the length of that nerve, which actually feels it in the elbow. So if the elbow is feeling tight, which we're, we're feeling a little bit tight right yeah, here. Yeah, I right felt here, that right, right there. Yeah. So let's do it again and see if we can get it to release even further, okay? Right. So you can actually, I can feel a big difference. There was a ball that was right here. There's a big difference in that trap. So we're gonna hit it right there. Okay, is that the spot? Yeah. Okay, oh, so yeah. go ahead and go back to the shrug all the way up. See, now you actually even higher range of motion in your trap. And relax. Now pinch behind you. Good. Relax. And move all the way down. Yep, you feel it relaxing. Oh, yeah. And then now reach out in front again. There you go again, right there. And relax. Uh, I think she's. I think she's ready to go now. Yeah. No. It, wow. Yeah. It definitely feels a lot better, a lot looser, in there. And I, for real, when you let it, when you came from one position to letting it relax, that's when I really felt it. Yeah. Like, I could feel. I could feel the whole thing right here. Yeah. So that that's that's a great quick tip for any ball player who's got a tight elbow, tight shoulder. That's something you can do on your own or have a partner help you with would not have to call the trainer, call the doctor first that you could do on your own without having to you know, freak out completely. Because if you can get it to release right there, I have a lot of guys when we get into our pull down days, really get into it, really get into it, and then they'll ah, I'm feeling a little tight. Okay, we'll take a break, hop on a little bucket, knock that out real quick, throw a couple more. All right, they're ready to go and keep going. Because how about this? I got a little gem for you. Most kids learn how to lie to their coach at an early age. True, Right. true fact. As soon as they say your arm hurts, where's coach tell you to go? Bench. Go sit on the bench, yeah. right? So that only happens one or two times before you go, uh-uh, that ain't happening uh -huh. no more. So they keep throwing, keep playing the game, and that's when we run into major arm issues. Uh -huh. So I gotta get the guys to be honest with themselves and how they feel, to go, hey, let me know if we know something so we can fix it, and then we can keep working. And the best part about it is only, what, two minutes it maybe, took us yeah, to Yeah, maybe two minutes, minute, half, two minutes. That's Let's crazy. knock it out and move on. So get it done. No excuses, two minutes. Everyone has two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes for a trap release. All right, so we got one more here. We're gonna work with it. Turn this big guy around right here. We're gonna work the middle. Every, all these pitchers, everybody gets a knot right next to that scap right here, right here. So everybody's got a baseball at home. The crossball's a little bit softer, it feels better. We're gonna put this baseball right here, but John's gonna lay on the ground 
We're gonna do some snow angels to really try to break up that knot. We already worked on this trap a little bit. How you feeling right now? Feel better, for sure. Feel better? All right, all right. So go ahead and hop on the ground for me. All right, here's your ball. And just slide that, slide that baseball right underneath, right underneath that scap right there. Now you can see he gets it right in there. He's gonna find his most sensitive spot, okay? All right, now John, start with your arms all the way down by your side. All right, completely relax. Let everything fall. You feel that pressure right there? Oh yeah. All right, now raise your arms all the way up and you're gonna to try to get him to touch above your head as far as you can go. Just go as far as you can. You can see his left hand where the baseball isn't getting right there. See the face really showing the, the extension. Once you feel like you've gotten to a point where you can't handle, then I want you to snow angel back down to your hips from where you started. How's that feel? Uh, yeah, painful. <laughs> <laughs> Again? All right, yep, yep. Again, you do them two or three, two, three, or four times, but you're really gonna feel it as it goes. You're gonna feel like that arm, your throwing arm is gonna be able to go even further forward as you grind that knot out through your scap. Should my hands be any certain way? As yeah, you wanna keep palms up all the way down and then kind of let them go down, like just feel natural from there. Trying to really focus on your thumbs, going as far away from your shoulders as you can, trying to get both hands to touch the ground as much as you can. This is a mobility workout to really try to break up the tightness, maybe some scar tissue that you got in there, release the fascia. Yeah, I noticed on that last one, I was able to touch the ground with my right one. The yeah, other exactly. two, I wasn't able yeah, to. Exactly, and this is only the third one. Wow, that's much looser now. That was only four, four times, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, stand up, see how you feel. Yeah, much looser. But I mean, I could tell after that third one when I could touch before and I couldn't touch. So that's a great one if, if you are throwing, in the middle of throwing, you feel an issue with your shoulder or something, just knock those two exercises out. Or if you can get into a daily routine doing it, the more pliable that we can make our muscles and our shoulders, the less chance of it. If you guys liked this video, hop on over to John Sintez uh, on Instagram. It's jsintez34. Cutter Nation, check him out. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to YouGoPro. And then go check out some of these other videos we did together.